Good morning everyone and welcome to another weekly vlog on my channel. This week's vlog is wellness themed, uh, which is really exciting because wellness is something that is so integral to my everyday life. It's something I'm so mindful of. Like many people, I have a super hectic job. I work in social media. I'm required to be online every single day of my life. I've also talked about my mental health in the past and the fact I have anxiety and all of that sort of thing. So for me, wellness is very much a daily part of my life. It's something that I've tried to implement more and more and build habits around. We do live in a world where wellness is becoming a lot more accessible and something that people are thinking about more and more as life gets more hectic, which is such an amazing thing. So I thought I would do a vlog where it's basically showing you guys in a week all the things that I do to make myself feel better. And that's not limited to stuff like, you know, herbal teas and like supplements and yoga and meditation because although those things bring a lot of joy and like comfort and calm into my life, also things like getting my hair done, having a solid skincare routine, getting my nails done, tanning, all of that, that also brings me joy. It also brings me a sense of well-being. Please bear in mind that I don't do absolutely every single one of these things every week. It's just kind of things that I do in and out of when I feel like it and when I know that it's gonna help me. Work's not too busy this week actually, I'm just looking at my planners, that's right, planners. I love multiple planners. This one is like my on the go planner, this is what I write like rough notes of and then this is like my proper like this is what you have to do today. I actually have a Pilates class today, but before I do that I am actually gonna do some like beauty stuff this morning. As you can see I'm looking a bit pale, I scrubbed off all my tan last night so I'm having one of those tan reset days. Days. I like to do them near the start of the week so um, my tan can last the week. Tanning is a really nice part of my wellness routine because it means that I have a really nice glow even though it's really cold right now and the sun is and the warmth is like a distant memory for most. <laughs> Tanning just gives me like a nice healthy glow, it makes me feel so much more confident and I just love it so it's, it's really important if I'm feeling like of not looking my best, then a uh, tanning routine really helps me with that. So to do my tan today, I'm gonna be using Saint um, I've been using this brand for years, I've collaborated with them a few times over the years, and they've actually just sent me their new product, which is called Saint Purity Vitamins, which is such an interesting concept. I've got two products here. I've been using the face water serum for two weeks now, and I really, really like it, so I'm excited to show you how that works into my skincare routine. But for the first time today, I'm gonna be using their Purity Vitamins bronzing water mist. I'm going to use this all over my body. But what's really cool about the Purity Vitamins is they've actually infused vitamin C and vitamin D and God knows we do not get enough vitamin D in this country because it's so cold and there's just not enough sunshine. Both products have a really lovely tropical scent for mood boosting. So there's also a ton of hyaluronic acid in here which is so important when you're using tan because I know a lot of formulas can dry the skin out. It doesn't block pores. There's also no transfer and you can reapply throughout the week as desired if you want to build up your colour. So yeah, I'm really excited to try the body one. Like I said, the face one is amazing and it slips really well into my current skincare routine. So yeah, let me show you how I apply it. So there's a few ways that you can actually use the bronzing water serum uh, with purity vitamins in your skincare routine. Um, you can actually mix it into your serum that you're already using. Some people find that actually they don't need an extra serum, this provides enough hydration so you can just use it on your own. Or you can do what I'm doing today and that is to take some of my moisturiser in my hand and then just take three pumps of the vitamin serum and rub it in like this and then just kind of like rub it in as you would your normal moisturizer the color will start to develop in a couple of hours and then get my glow back after that just wash your hands with soap and water you can see that my skin looks quite glowy at the moment that will just all sink in in a matter of minutes so i'm just going to leave that like that and move on to the body so the water serum tan is sinking in nicely now i'm going to move on to doing my body so as i mentioned before i'm using the saint tropez purity vitamins this is their bronzing water mist i'm going to be using this all over my body and to buff it in i've got two mitts here and this is actually one of my self tan hacks Whenever I'm doing body tan, whether it's with gel, mousse, water spray, anything, I always use two mitts on both hands to buff it in because I just feel like the application is going to be so much more even and also I can get the tan spread out a lot quicker. So I'm going to do that today. I'm going to spritz this all over my body. It's got a really nice tropical scent as well. So I'm just going to do that now. Usually I would do it naked, but obviously it's 
YouTube want to keep it PG. So yeah, got my undies on. Uh, last night I did all of my prep. I showered, I scrubbed. So this will have a really nice eight hours to settle in and to develop. Basically just spritzing that all over my leg. I always start with my leg. And I'm going to take my two mitts and then I'm going to buff like this. Honestly, it's so much more functional than using just one. Okay, and then I'm just going to take it again, work my way up my leg, onto the butt, underneath. Okay, and that's me done. I'm going to give this until the end of the day and I'm going to have a shower this evening and I'll show you the results. Tanning routine done. I put my Pilates gear on because I'm heading down there in a few hours. So before I head into my office to do some work, I'm just going to show you my supplement routine. The routine does vary depending on, you know, what I feel my needs are. But because of Wellness Week, I am going to stick to this routine um, every single day just to make sure I'm getting the most out of all my vitamins and minerals. Uh, so I'll talk you through everything I take now. You guys will have seen this before. It's my Altriant Liposomal Vitamin C. It's 1000 milligrams. I love this product. I've been using it for about 10 months now. I've had one cold because of it, um, but that's through the whole winter period. So I really, really love this stuff for helping my immune system. Obviously vitamin C is great for your immunity. Um, also it's great for skin as well. It's really collagen boosting. I actually did a, a test with these guys, a clinical study, and it reduced my like fine lines and wrinkles by like 17%. The liposomal gel delivery system is the best because it's, it means you get maximum absorption in the gut of all the vitamin C. I've got my omega-3s, which I try and take every day, but if I'm eating a lot of eggs that day, I do sometimes skip them. So this is fairly new. I'm taking a trans reservatrol, uh, 500 milligrams daily. This is really good for skin. It's an antioxidant. It's great for uh, fine lines and wrinkles as well. Another skin thing. You can also get this from red wine, which I drink a lot of. Um, so again, I tend to take maybe five days a week. These are new to me. Uh, I just started taking them. They're Lumity morning food supplements. Um, there's a you take three of the day ones in the morning, you take three of the night ones in the evening. And this just is like a multivitamin. I tend to always have a multivitamin on the go because it's just a good backbone for general health, well-being, and immunity. I don't think you can get everything you need for multivitamin. That's why I take other stuff on top. So I've been taking turmeric now for about seven months. I keep switching brands because I'm trying to find one that works for me. And I like this one because um, it's 90 tablets and you only have to take one a day. So that's three months of turmeric. If you don't know what turmeric does, it's really amazing for anti-inflammatory. I'm a very inflamed sensitive individual, so having turmeric in my diet is just really good um, for keeping the inflammation down um, internally. And also, I feel like it shows through my skin as well. I've actually already had my morning coffee, so I'm just fixing myself a fresh mint tea. You see the leaves in there. Just simply pouring on hot water. I love fresh mint. I fell in love with fresh mint when I visited Amsterdam about 10 years ago. I always forget to make myself one, but the fresh one is so much better than any like mint tea bag you can buy. So before I head into my office and I get my head down for a couple of hours and do some work, I did just want to talk about water intake. Now we all know how important it is to make sure your hydration levels are up. It helps our organs function better. It helps detox. It helps our skin glow. I tend to be quite good about my water intake already. I'm quite a dehydrated individual, meaning that my skin tends to be a little bit dehydrated. I also have like quite high stress levels throughout the day, like my cortisol will peak and dip. My adrenal glands are always working overtime to kind of flush the cortisol out of your body. So for that reason, if you do tend to be a little bit more stressed, you can actually find that you're sometimes quite dehydrated throughout the day. Whilst managing stress levels is something I'm always working on, I do always try and keep a bottle of water with me by my side throughout the day just to make sure I am getting enough hydration. I actually bought this off Amazon the other day. Now I've got quite a few Chili's bottles already which are great for on the go, but I wanted to buy a water bottle that was gonna be good to like stay with me in the house when I'm working from home because sometimes I do spend the whole day indoors working from my office. And the reason I really like this one, you can see, it's got like like 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10, 11, 12, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 p.m. So this is a two liter bottle. So if I fill this up twice and I'm drinking down to the measurements in time, time intervals, then it's making sure that I'm getting enough water throughout the day. Because sometimes I find I'll be at my desk and I realize I haven't taken a, a sip of water for like three hours. And what I learned recently was the best way to drink water is in smaller intervals so your body can actually use it. Rather than taking a big glass of water when you're super dehydrated and and then it just coming out in your way like 10, 15 minutes later. 
just arrived with my Ocado order. It's West Lab reviving Epsom salts. I love having an Epsom salt bath. It's like so, so good for tired muscles, especially ones that are aching after exercise. And obviously the salt baths have a really nice detoxing quality as well. So it's absolutely huge. Time for Pilates. So I've come out to Pilates. I actually signed up for the class pass free month trial and I started coming to a Pilates that's really near my house. It's really good. I love Pilates. It's something that I've been doing for three months now. And for me, it's, it's a really important part of my exercise routine because it works on posture. And that's a big issue for me. It causes me a lot of problems. It's basically gonna be a lifetime of work. I'm never gonna be able to stop it because when I'm doing it, I'm walking taller. Um, I have less aches and pains. Um, I'm not like pinching the nerve in my neck as much. So it's something that I found to be really helpful in my day-to-day -day well-being just being able to stand up taller and correct all those like learned unconscious ways of holding my body after that I'm just gonna go down to the post office and collect some parcels and send some mail very tall and stretched out which is so nice um, considering I'm gonna go back hunching over a laptop and a phone for the rest of the day <laughs> that's why Pilates and yoga is so important uh, to counteract all of the time I spend like that I didn't talk about breakfast this morning and that's because I didn't have any I had a bulletproof coffee um, which is about 250 calories I have it pretty much every single morning because I like to do um, fasts until midday every day. I'm not going to go into it on here because it's, it could be a minefield, you know, ways to do it, how long do you do it, what do you eat, blah 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 blah. I've just found something that really works for me and it really decreases the inflammation and the swelling and the bloating that I have during the day when I keep all of my meals between a certain window of time during the day. I'm about to prepare some lunch, I'm having some rice crackers with some tuna. I'm actually eating this new type of tuna. Well, it's not new, but it's called Fish Forever, and you have to get it from a health website called Zest. And it's a sub sustainably fish, which is super important, but also it's skipjack tuna, which means it's got less mercury in it than other fishes. And I eat a lot of fish, and I'm trying to decrease my meat intake and, like, just have more fish, but obviously mercury is a problem. So it's just something I'm trying out, I'm trying to buy sustainable merc low mercury tuna, because I'm obsessed with See, I'm having that with some avocado and salad. That's my lunch for today. And I'll have a pretty big dinner. I think we're having ramen. Mm. It's six o'clock and I've just finished filming this makeup look. It's Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk one. And the video will be up by the time you're watching this. So if you did want to go watch me put on this look, then it's already on the YouTube. Yeah, today's been fairly straightforward. I'm quite happy with everything I've achieved, to be honest, I'm feeling okay. I'm just gonna upload this footage and then go back on emails until Nate gets home and then we'll start making some dinner. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you, now that I've taken my makeup off today, um, how my skin is looking. Uh, so this is eight hours of tan, and I think it's come out really nicely. It's given me a really nice golden glow. I'm gonna wash it off in the shower now, but I think, that I'll probably develop a little bit more overnight because that's normally what happens when I use Saint Tropez products. And my face has a really nice glow as well, which I'm really happy with. I'm gonna keep using that bronzing water serum every single day so I can show you how much it builds because it is an everyday product and it's really nice to just fit into your skincare routine. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. Good morning, everyone. I've just spent the first two hours of my day in bed doing emails and drinking my bulletproof coffee. Part of my wellness week, I've just allowed myself to stay in bed the extra few hours. I just figured if it's what I want, then do it. Although it's making me tired, I'm gonna have to get up soon. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do my skincare routine, take my supplements, fill up my water bottle, get dressed and leave. Not gonna do any makeup because I'm going for a facial first thing today, um, so there's no point. I'm in dire need of a facial though. My rosacea is like quite bad at the moment. Um, I don't know why that is. Just 
little tip actually when you're done self tanning your face I actually use the excess on my hands because our face and hands are two parts of our body we actually wash and clean the most on a daily basis so I just like to give my hands a little bit of a top up otherwise uh, they tend to look a little bit whiter than the rest of my body facial especially one like Declior that have a lot of the like muscle and skin massage and like lifting my skin looks so like even but it's really like red at the moment this is the products that they used this was lovely it was like such a nice smell green mandarin um, a natural sugar scrub. Oh my god, it was so lovely. I know that everybody has a different version of what heaven looks like, but this is what heaven looks like to me. Well, that was lovely. They're one of the best brands of facials to go for if you enjoy like deep sort of massage, sculpting, like you've got tension in your face and your neck and shoulders. They always include the neck and shoulders and usually the head as well in their massaging. So it's, it's just if that's kind of your jam in terms of facials, you want like a really relaxing, indulgent experience, then I would really recommend. I'm gonna head to Harrods now. I've got an appointment there with Fleur of England, who are my favorite lingerie brand. It's really nice that they're having a gifting suite today, this week, because it's wellness week and nothing makes me feel as good as trying on beautiful lingerie. Okay, so I've just bought myself a salad from the salad bar. I would rather be eating here. <laughs> I'm perfectly honest. This is also what heaven looks like to me. The perfect seed salad done by Harrods Food Hall. Um, Just come into Harrods uh, to visit Fleur of England. One of my favourite, no, my favourite lingerie brand ever. And they've got a few new styles out and colours. They've never done such bright colours before. And with this new collection for spring, Fleur in Bloom, they've actually expanded the size ranges. So now they do a lot smaller sizes and a lot bigger sizes as well. It's all silk. And lace it's just gorgeous i think i'm gonna go with this apricot color they've never done something like this before and it's just beautiful in a turn of events i'm actually heading home nate and i are not doing like drawing class anymore i've had a bit of a headache all day like really achy neck and shoulders and the facial that i had really helped it kind of like disperse some of the tension in my face but as the days worn on i'm so exhausted and i keep getting these really weird ways of anxiety so i told nate about it he was like that's so weird i had the exact same thing yesterday so basically nate probably picked something up not coronavirus and has passed it on to me and now i feel a bit shit he was feeling really shit yesterday and now i feel shit so i actually reached the place in king's cross to do the life drawing and I just sat down and almost like melted into the bench. I'm so exhausted. So he was like, look, babe, if you're not up to it, don't force yourself. Go home if you want. I felt really bad because I'm really up for doing this uh, creative drawing. But he said, just do. <laughs> I love this about him. He said, basically, just do whatever's going to make you feel good. And I was like, oh, yeah, this happens to be wellness week. So I will do just that. Thank you. Home at 18.38. I plan on being in the bath before seven i've just got to do a little bit of bath prep bath prep starts with candles is it even bath without one of these on your hand for my bubble my loxitan recharge and refill just their classic soap and then for fragrance i'm gonna use one of my aromatherapy associates i absolutely love 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 this fragrance for bath it's like my favorite bath time fragrances they are so good for the mind and the body so i've had a really chilled evening in i had a nice bath and then we had some nice liveroo and then we watched some trash american tv i'm so tired i'm so so tired so i'm gonna get into bed try to have like nine hours sleep hey guys actually valentine's day today happy valentine's day <laughs> i'm just on my way to hypnotherapy i think i mentioned earlier in the week that um i have 
have started hypnotherapy for my fear of flying. So this is my third session. It's actually my second session of actual hypnosis because the first session was just like a get to know me, what my issues are sort of session. So yeah, last week was the first initial week that I was hypnotized and it was such a cool experience. A weird one, you know? I'm actually gonna do a whole video on um, hypnosis and my fear of flying and whether it worked or not so stand by for that video it'll be coming in a few weeks after I've taken my first flight therapy has always been like a huge part of my life I went to my first therapist when I was 19 years old I've been dipping in and out ever since just when I feel like a little bit extra emotional support or mental health support looking forward to seeing her the sessions have been really interesting so much more different from any other therapy I've ever done before now yeah, I'll let you know how I get on if you are interested in watching the actual vlog on that see if it worked after my first flight sorry the wind then definitely check it out on my channel just out of hypnotherapy I really feel like that was a very powerful session she said I was under for like 40 minutes I felt so relaxed we were just going over the state of calm on the plane and we went through loads of eventualities like turbulence night flight and she says I need to just keep on rehearsing it till next week My workout today doing a hit class slightly more intense and high energy than maybe I'm feeling like right now but I do feel like I just need to get my uh, body moving I've been quite sedentary all week so Ooh, I'm looking rather town though I sweated also like, felt like I was like working out loads of stiffness in my joints but that gym is awesome one thing I would say though is as a female working out at a gym I personally do not like to be approached by male trainers even for friendly conversation like if I'm mid workout or I'm stretching that is not an invitation to come up and talk to me even if it's hey how are you getting on don't fucking speak to me and I know they're just trying to be super friendly but I actually fed back to the female trainer that I was working out with most of the time I was working out with you like I didn't need all those men to come over and talk to me literally the minute she walked away from me in the space of 30 seconds two men came over to me hey how's it going high five happy ha happy valentine's day bones that's why a lot of women feel intimidated in gym spaces when there's a lot of men around they need to just understand and respect the boundaries back home i was doing some emails on the bus home from hit class and i felt myself getting a little, a little agitated so i started doing my 5-8 breathing and accessing that little part of my brain that i've been training through hypnotherapy to readily be able to access a calm and relaxed place in my body and my brain and i accessed it quite easily walking back but anyway i'm starving uh dinner's not gonna be for another two hours because we have to make bao buns from scratch eh, seemed like a good idea at the time but now i'm starving seems like it's a long drawn out process happy valentine's day and here i am baking away slaving to make your dinner we've got to say to that nathan how are you up <laughs> i'm making a mess Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> and here are the fruits of our labors. So over here we've got a katsu breaded fried chicken with a sriracha mayo. That's a pickle relish and jalapenos on top. And then over here we have barbecued Asian pork belly with crushed cashews and then pickled cabbage and carrot topped with fresh chili and coriander. A little extra sauce on the side. Nate is having an aloe vera grape flavoured foamed beer and I've got a gin and tonic. Perfect! Morning everyone, it's Saturday today. Continuing well this week into the weekend. I am going to see my reflexologist today. I usually book a 90 minute treatment with her every month. 90 minutes sounds like a really long time and yeah it kind of is but it's um she does 60 minutes as well but I feel like I get more benefits from the 91 so it's like 30 minutes on each foot of reflexology and then 30 minutes on the face and the skull. I hold a lot of tension in my face especially with my TMJ and lock jaw so I just like to go see her. She works it all out. She literally puts me on cloud nine. She is 
incredible. I've spoken about her loads on social media in the past. I treated Nate to a session with her as well. He'd never had reflexology in his life before and he was like, oh, a bit weird about it because it's feet and he doesn't like that. He's now regular too, so. I'm such a big believer in holistic me uh, medicinal practices, especially ones that have like Eastern influences. I believe in the meridian lines and, and the fact that she can like help me so much with ailments throughout my body just by touching my feet it's just mad and then I had an event this evening which is actually when I looked at the venue it was like really far away so I just cancelled it because wellness week I don't want to stress myself out traveling halfway across London at night staying in today I'm probably gonna do some sorting out just like purge and cleanse my home space which um, always makes me feel good as well I'm looking very tanned I've been using the Saint Tropez purity water bronzing water serum every single day and despite washing my face twice a day I'm um, also using exfoliant it's actually built up a really nice color I'm not wearing any makeup you can see there's a glow it's really nice just having a quick breakfast <laughs> nothing healthy to see here guys I'm using some of that leftover chicken on a toasted bagel that I found at the back of the freezer with some jalapenos and then I've just fried an egg which is a bit of a state but at least it's not gonna drip on me this way just had my reflexology I actually asked her if she wanted to be on camera but she was like she's got a bit of a sinus thing going on like me so she's like oh no I don't look great today I asked her what are her top tips for wellness and she said number one for me is walking on on my own every day going for a walk she says it just like renews my energy and it it means I can have some time to myself she's an introvert an empath a bit like me so being with people all the time is quite tiring um, so she says long walks are really great she takes a lot of hot baths with Epsom salts which is exactly what I do as well I'd love to get her on camera sometime uh, because she's got some great insights into like female well-being and like our, uh, getting in touch with our cycles so we understand our emotions better. Good morning folks, happy Sunday. Nate and I are just lying in bed this morning, having a bit of lying. I'm so achy, I've got such doms from that hit class I did, so um, this evening's nurturing uh, hot yoga will be very welcomed. We're just trying to decide what we want to do today. Storm Dennis is raging outside, so we're not sure if we can do a walk really. I quite fancy a pub lunch. I feel really rested and calm, my brain feels very just mellow and not wrung out. My anxiety hasn't been that bad this week either. How's your wellness going this week? Um, my wellness week, it's been all right. I've been doing all the things, all the right things. Like what? What have you been doing this week to make sure you feel well? Football, eating snacks. Just having a little clear out. That's what rainy Sundays are for, right? I'm off to yoga. I'm wearing my sweaty Betty outfit. It's one of my faves. For once, my office is immaculate. When I go to yoga, I tend to put hair masks on. I do hot yoga, so I'm always washing my hair after I go. This brand, Living Proof, is amazing. Uh, this is their Restore Dry Scalp Treatment. And I'm going to put this on the lengths and ends. Nate and I were talking about next week's dinner plans, and we've decided we're going to go full keto next week. Just to, like, we've been a little bit indulgent this weekend, so I'm just going to look up some recipes when I get back. Hey, everyone. So I'm back from yoga class. I uh, jumped in the shower and... And I did a hair toner, I did a chemical peel, I did a hyaluronic acid mask for moisture and now I'm in uh, some PJs just feeling really comfortable. We've ordered a pizza <laughs> and we're gonna watch some Netflix together um, and just kind of waste away the Sunday evening. House is tidy, ready for the cleaner tomorrow so my mind feels like relaxed and ready for Monday. That's been my wellness vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave all your comments down below. I would love to know what you think is wellness for you because everybody's different and I think that's the most important thing. So please comment down below and tell me what it is that you like to do to take care of yourself. Maybe I can learn a few tips from you guys. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll be back on my channel next week. See you then, bye. Mm -mm -mm. And yes, before you ask, that is an entire ball of mozzarella.